the Vedas, the sacred books of India, it states that the Greeks built the Vimanas, the flying machines. We should not be surprised then. This perhaps confirms what the ancient uh, historians were telling us about the fact that the text, the ancient Greek text talked about spacecraft, calling them arrows. Now the ancient Indian books Samarangana Sutra Dhara writes about wars in ancient India. There are texts in there that mention in precise detail how machines that could fly were built. These machines were called Vimana. Light materials like iron, copper, mercury, and lead were used to make these aerial machines. They could fly long distances, and the text Samaragana Sudradhara devotes 230 pages to the construction of these machines and their use in peace and war. Who were the people who built these machines? All the stories of the writers of ancient India named the Greeks as the manufacturers of these machines. In the Birhat Kath, Alokas Magara, King Rumanavat's attempt to acquire a flying machine is described. He asked his engineers to build it for him. They replied that they themselves do not know how to make such machines, and the only ones who make the manas are the Greeks. That only the Greeks could build such machines is mentioned many times in the sacred Indian books. For example, the book of Acts of King Harsha from the 7th century BC. King Harsha acquires a flying machine built by a Greek who had imprisoned him. And this is from a Greek article I have uh, translated for you. Very interesting, isn't it? Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.